Hi everybody, Ken from Moon Pie Creation I started a series of uh, Halloween, so I decided to join the fun. Man, I had fun. I started with this one and it gone boom and exploded on me. So I started the whole thing from the beginning from here and let me tell you how this went. So it's going to be a lantern for Halloween and uh, the previous one that I started that you saw uh, just exploded on me. I don't know why. Uh, the resin was hard. Everything was done. I think there is the, uh, what you're calling it, the, the ghost of a Malloween are visiting me on this project. So, new piece of wood. I cut myself, if you can see. I actually didn't cut myself. I touched hard the um, revolving center and... and start bleeding what can i do so creating both sides one side a tenet and i start creating the shape of the lent lantern 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 and um, here i'm going to create a color and you will see step by step my idea of doing it but as we go along you will see that i have to change my plan because of this ghost that ha that haunting me on this project. I'm telling you, there is a ghost in this project. I really believe. You remember the first one that exploded, the, the shape that exploded? Just keep in your mind the shape of where it exploded on me. I had in my head a shape that I wanted to happen and um, unfortunately you will see that I had to do few changes in the shape all the time. Lucky enough we do with wood and we can change the, um, the shape and tell everybody that that was the shape from the beginning. I think that I glued it quite well because it took me a little bit of time to remove it. I battled to remove the vessel off, but eventually it came right and um, we can start working. Working with this one was really like Halloween. I was covered top to bottom with acrylic strings, like um, spider strings all over. You will see maybe if there is one photo further down that you will see completely covered.
I was totally, totally covered with those strings, top to bottom. This week I got in the mail a present from uh, Black Line Tools. They saw that I'm using so much the, the, the product and they sent me the mini set of theirs. I didn't work with it yet. I think it's very nice to work on small projects, but I'm using it here in small areas and it looks very nice. I'll do, I'll do um, uh, a video on the, on the black line tools. One of those days very shortly, I'll do one of those. If you can see, there is a crack over there. I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you a little bit later. Here, you can see the crack. Exactly the same, like the previous piece of wood. And it's a different piece of wood, different um, resin, different everything. But the crack looks exactly the same. Like the other one that exploded to me, it uh, looks exactly the same, this one. You tell me that there is not ghost in this project. I thought it's only a small scratch and I tried to work that in but didn't look like it's quite deep and I'll have to find a solution for it and uh, look at that exactly the same place unbelievable now what I'm going to do is I'm going to repair it with um, UV resin um, it, it the only thing that it's going to do it's going to be quicker for me it, it it takes, uh, I can continue with the, with the work and it's just repairing a, a crack. So it's resin that dries in the neck in five minutes, 10 minutes with UV light. And um, I can continue with it, with the, with the project. I'm doing a 35 mil um, hole in just to be able to get or the candle, um, the uh, the candle or um, electronic uh, candle, one of the two. Uh, the tea light candle. You can get also the, those uh, battery operated one tea light candle. The, I'm using here the small one, the square, and I just square it off so it will be it will feed the candlelight. Candlelight, uh, the candle is about 37 millimeters. Here I'm using uh, resin and copper, uh, copper powder, not copper uh, um, pigment. It's pure copper. And I'll create, um, I left a little bit of moist on the wood on purpose. So hopefully it will create a little bit of bubbles. Um, because the moist and, and the resin don't like each other, um, so it bubbles sometimes. And the reason for me that I want them to bubble is so when I polish it down, it will leave holes in the in the resin, and it looks like the the copper is pitted, uh, and you will see the effect of the copper. Now you can see it, and yes, it gave me those um, air bubbles, the small bubbles for, from the from the um, from the moist. And you will see when I have a close up that there is like holes, like pitted, like a copper that stands for a long time. It's got pitted, you can see it here. And it's almost what I wanted, like 99% of what I wanted. Um, let me just do the, the polish of the, of the wood a little bit, sandpaper the, the back uh, all the way to 500, sorry, to 400. And then Yorkshire, and then after Yorkshire, I'm going to put um, OB just You can see now the, those pitted holes over there. And this is on purpose, not by mistake. It's on purpose.
Unfortunately, in certain angles, you can still see this crack could not eliminate it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more, another layer of resin on top of it and see what will happen. I'll do it a little bit later. I'll play with it and I'll let you know what's the last solution of it. Uh, removing the, um, the tenant from the back using the, um, the inside of the, um, on the other side of the candles as to hold it and um, just to find a new center so it will not wobble on me. And I don't know, I told you there is a, there is a, um, a ghost in this project. The, the whole file of, of, of the video where I showed that I'm doing the, um, the lines disappeared, just disappeared. Never happened to me like that before. I had some of them uh, that I found later, but this one totally disappeared from the first of the earth. Um, creating a place for my logo, and it's almost, 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 but not almost, done. I hope you like my Halloween um, project. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe, like it, and uh, share it on your social media. Until the next one, cheerio and have a great day.